Hello and welcome to the Display and Geometry tutorial. Display and Geometry is the second inspector tab for video cues, and where most of the work on a video cue is done. We'll start in the top left corner of the tab and walk our way through each parameter one by one. The first drop down menu, called Video Surface, lets you assign the video cue to an available surface. Let's take a little side trip here and talk about surfaces and screens. In QLab, a screen means an actual display, such as the LCD panel or monitor you're probably looking at right now, or a projector, television screen, or other physical display device you've connected to your Mac. A surface is a kind of virtual display. When you create a new workspace, QLab automatically generates one surface for each screen that's connected to your Mac. The size of this surface is the same size as the display. So, for example, if you're using a Mac Mini with a monitor that's 1920 by 1080 pixels, and you create a new QLab workspace, the workspace will start off with one surface called Surface 1 that's also 1920 by 1080 pixels. If you don't have a basic video, pro video, or pro bundle license installed, you'll only be able to use the first surface. We'll get into customizing surfaces in a later tutorial. So for now, it's okay to think of a surface as nothing more than the intermediary connection between QLab and your displays. So returning to that video surface dropdown, this is where you assign your video cue to a surface. The second dropdown menu is called Mode, which lets you choose either full screen or custom geometry mode. If you have no video license installed, only full screen is available. Full screen mode means that the video cue will be played as large as possible on the assigned surface. The Preserve Aspect Ratio checkbox right below the menu lets you choose whether the video will be stretched to fit the entire surface or left in its native aspect ratio. If the aspect ratio of the video is different than the aspect ratio of the surface, and you leave the box checked, QLab will fill in the rest of the screen with black. If you set the mode to custom geometry, then the video can be scaled, rotated, and positioned anywhere within the surface. QLab has controls for translation, scale, three axes of rotation, and anchor, which is the center point around which the video rotates and scales. You can either type values in or click and drag to move the video. You can also manipulate these parameters using the thumbnail image to the right side of the geometry controls by clicking and dragging or using trackpad gestures. The thumbnail will give you a preview of how your cue will look when it is played. Two parameters which are available in both full screen and custom geometry mode are layer and opacity. QLab handles layers differently from most media servers. Rather than thinking of layers as containers into which individual cues get placed, think of layers as the order in which video cues stack on top of each other. QLab has 1001 layers. Top is closest to the viewer, then layer 999, then downwards to 1, and then bottom. Any cues assigned to the top layer will play on top of all other currently running cues. Any cues assigned to the bottom layer will play beneath all other currently running cues. Cues assigned to the same layer as each other will stack in the order in which they are triggered. So, for example, if you have three cues assigned to layer 10, whichever cue is triggered last will appear on top of the other two. But any cue assigned to layer 11 will appear on top of all three cues on layer 10, regardless of the order in which those cues are triggered. Video cues will play on the top layer by default. You can change layers by typing a value or by using the little arrow buttons. Opacity is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. A video cue set to 0% opacity is invisible. One set to 50% opacity is half visible, half transparent. And one set to 100% opacity is fully visible and opaque to all cues playing beneath it. If you have a basic video, pro video, or pro bundle license installed, you can animate the opacity, translation, scale, and rotation parameters of a video cue 
by using a fade cue. You can learn more about that in the tutorials for fade cues.